five reasons why you really don't want all the high resolution digital files. Hi, I'm Will from William Gordon Photography and I'm here to help you do your I do's right the first time. Let me ask you, what do you want from your photography? Let's address the cost factor first. Reason number one, save your dollary dues. It's easy to forget that you will be spending money on the digital files. Your photographer won't include them for free. They might say the high resolution digital files are included for free, but you'll be paying for them somehow. Remember, images are ultimately the only thing a photographer has to sell. The only way you'll truly get free high resolution digital files is if the photographer is working for free. This means that getting your own prints done is going to cost the printing costs plus whatever you spend on the digital files. So the cost to purchase digital files plus the cost to get your own prints done equals the actual cost of the prints. Let's say you spent $600 purchasing all the high resolution digital files, but you're going to save money by getting 10 8x10 inch prints from Officeworks for only $2.90 each. Including the $600 investment, those prints are actually costing you $62.90 each. At time of writing, I sell a pack of 10 8x10 inch prints for $495, which is $49.50 each. Not much of a cost saving there. Furthermore, if you make any mistakes, you're likely going to have a painful experience trying to get a refund or reprint. These places simply don't need to keep their customers happy. You and I are going to keep going back like the suckers we are because it's cheap. And we love cheap. Your photographer, on the other hand, will be dedicated and invested in you as a customer. They're going to do much more to fix any problems should they arise. Now, we just compared costs between Officeworks and professional print labs. But are we even comparing the same products? Can we expect the same print quality from both? Spoiler alert, not even close. Reason number two, Officeworks is the McDonald's of printing. Officeworks and similar cheap printing outlets are not photographic industry standard print labs. The print quality will vary greatly. The staff aren't trained to properly care for your images and you'll have to manage all of this yourself with no helpful advice along the way. On the other hand, if you purchase prints through me, I carefully edit each image before sending them to print. The prints are done by a professional photographic lab by people who are invested in your images and have years of professional experience. They're invested because they want to keep photographers like me as long-term customers. They love what they do. They really want to do a great job. When I get the gorgeous prints back from the lab, I personally check every print and mount them in a matte presentation board, which protects them and makes them ready to go straight into a frame. Or you can even display them just like this on one of these mini easels. Finally, I make sure you're 100% happy with your finished prints. Perhaps you'll get lucky and the colors, brightness, contrast, and sharpness of your images will translate perfectly into your budget Officeworks prints. But how long will those prints last? Have you ever seen prints yellow over time? Perhaps you've seen prints deteriorate where the print starts cracking and peeling away from the paper. You might have seen prints go moldy and gradually discolored. My printing and any professional print lab these days will guarantee your prints to last a lifetime. They can do this because they produce quality products with quality materials. How long do you want your wedding or family photos to last? Five years? 10 years? No, you want a lifetime and even future generations to enjoy your photos and relive your memories. You're not going to create that kind of lasting family heirloom at Officeworks. Don't get me wrong, I love Officeworks. I shop there all the time and I appreciate the sometimes Cheap photographic prints are fantastic for certain projects, but your wedding and family images deserve better. Hiring a professional photographer whose work you adore and printing it at Officeworks is like fine dining at McDonald's. And as my previous example demonstrates, it's not even much cheaper, if at all. You might still be on the fence about this, 
because the convenience of making your own prints is just so appealing. Then please allow me to continue with reason number three, ain't nobody got time for that. I hope by now we both agree that doing your own prints isn't going to save you much money or at least not as much as you might think. Furthermore, you're not going to get professional print quality outside of a professional print lab, but you might still like the idea of the convenience. It seems obvious that it's far more convenient to order your own prints than order them through your photographer. Not only do I disagree, I'm going to argue that statement is completely backwards. Have you ever used any of those do-it-yourself printing stations? They're so clunky, slow, and confusing. Not to mention that you have to drive to the shop, battle the crowds for a spot, then listen to the sound of screaming children, disgruntled customers, and dismissive staff while you try to enjoy the experience of choosing your favorite wedding memories. The thought of my clients going through that hurts me, right in the jellies. Especially because professional photographers these days have access to many amazing online image gallery platforms that include shopping carts for ordering your own printed products. These platforms are built so much better than the clunky self-ordering print machines at the shops. The appeal of self-ordering print machines is cheap prints. That's all they're built for. Photographers select online image gallery platforms for an amazing customer experience for their clients. This means your photographer can give you an online images gallery with a wonderful user experience that presents your images beautifully and is easy to use from the comfort of your own home. Quick recap, getting prints through your photographer is going to cost the same for a better product with a better ordering experience. And instead of a hard drive or USB with high resolution digital files sitting in a drawer doing nothing, you will have beautiful prints around your home or a beautiful album to flick through. Reason number four, what if cats have their own internet and it's full of pictures of us? Aside from cat pictures and videos, next in the order of priorities to get uploaded and shared everywhere are your wedding photos. Or family photos, or for those in business, profile images and images for marketing content. You don't need high resolution files for any of this. In fact, you actually want screen optimized images. Let me explain what that means. Screen optimized images are smaller in size to make them easier to upload and load faster when viewed online. They're compressed in a way that balances load times with appearance. They're sharpened appropriately to look crisp on screen. They have the correct color profile applied so they look as they should online. This gets a bit complicated, but typically you just wanna make sure your images are saved in sRGB color space. Otherwise, web browsers can do funky stuff and all the image colors will be wrong. You also wanna have the images sized with the appropriate pixel dimensions for each social media platform or to suit your website requirements. Full resolution digital files from professional photographers are big. You're going to have a difficult time trying to load them online. It's going to be slow. If you're trying to load images to a web page, platforms like WordPress won't let you upload such big files you will have to work out how to resize them yourself. When you load a big image to social media platforms, those platforms are going to resize and compress large images automatically. Typically they do this heavy handedly and it's noticeable in the images. It's much better to have them sized correctly first. It would be a shame to have professional photos taken and then not display them to their full potential online. I for one am always delighted to provide web optimized versions of any purchased images for my clients. I size the images to suit the intended use so I know they will look great. Reason number five, it's not hoarding if it's camera equipment. That's my excuse to my wife and myself when buying more camera gear. What's your excuse for wanting to hoard all of your high resolution digital images? Security could be an answer. You wanna make sure nothing happens to your images and you can always access them. It sounds like you don't trust your photographer with your images. I would suggest that it's not a wise idea to employ a photographer that you don't trust with your images, especially in the case of wedding photography. My backup procedures would really require another video to cover it all. I'll make that video if someone expresses interest. But in the meantime, 
Know that I have extensive backups to ensure my client's images are always safe. I even have offsite backups of every image I take for every job. This means my entire office can burn down and I'll still have access to every one of my client's images like nothing happened. Brides and grooms hire me because they trust me with their images. Although I would argue it's more important to trust that your photographer will get the shot in the first place. That's why my motto is, there are no retakes. Losing images afterwards is more difficult to do, but equally devastating. So let me ask you again, what do you really want from your photos? Do you really want the high resolution digital files? No, you want prints. You want web-sized images to upload. You want value, you want convenience, and you want to keep your images safe. You don't need the high resolution digital files for any of those things. But here's the final most important point. What's the difference between having all of your digital files locked away on a drive in a drawer versus your photographer missing or losing all of your images? Ultimately, there is no difference. Images are made to be printed, displayed, treasured, and enjoy. That's why you hire a photographer. Please make that your priority, not a USB in a drawer or cheap, nasty prints. Let me know in the comments if I've missed anything or if you want to share some thoughts of your own. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, remember, there are no retakes. Perhaps you'll get lucky 